Glad we are rolling. How's it going, everybody? Texas Man here. I hope that you guys are all having a spectacular day. If you guys could, please give this video a thumbs up if you guys do really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also, do me the biggest favor of all. Hit that bell notification button. That way, you guys do not miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. And we're bringing you guys another unboxing video. I've got a bunch of unboxing videos that I want to go through for you guys, not only when it comes to tabletop games, whether that's board games or card games, but obviously helmets. If you guys haven't been here for my channel for the past several years, you guys know that I just love buying stuff because I get so many subscribers, I get enough channel support, and the more channel support, the more types of unboxing videos I can do for you guys here on the channel, whether that's hats, helmets, um, Pikachu dolls, whatever, posters, <laughs> you name it, I can do it. And uh, I just want to say thank you guys for all the new subscribers that we've gotten recently in the past couple weeks. The channel has grown. We've gotten a couple new subs. Thank you guys for the channel support, and I really do appreciate it. Also want to make sure that if you guys haven't subscribed, over 91% over of you guys that have watched at least one of my videos here on the channel, whether that's for five seconds, two minutes, been part of a live stream, 91% of you guys have checked out my channel, but you're not subscribed. Please do in the biggest favor of all, hit that bell notification button and subscribe. Subscribe, please. Now, if you hit the bell notification button and you select all, you guys get notified for all my videos, all my live, all my live streams. But not only that, but you guys will let me know in an alert from YouTube that you guys subscribe and I can give your um, YouTube name and channel if you have one also with it. A shout out and I really do like doing those shout outs for other channels that you know are trying to grow and I just want to say thank you and if we can get to 500 subscribers before July 4th if we can hit 500 right now we're at 377 if we can get to 500 before July 4th of this year 2023 now if you're watching this video and it's older please still subscribe because I still do giveaways from time to time but if we can get to over 500 subscribers by July 4th, 2023, I will send you via Amazon a special energy drink sent directly to where you live. All you'll have to do is email me to give me your address for obviously secret reasons, and I will send it to you, and it'll get there as soon as possible. Now, moving on to this video, this is something that I have wanted for a very, very long time, the Titanfall 2 Jack Cooper helmet. Now, you might be wondering, wow, you're doing Titanfall 2. It's been years since this game came out. This game came out in 2017. But I've wanted this for a while, and the reason I wanted this for a while is because I love Titanfall 2. And I'm planning on streaming it for you guys. I, I got a copy of it, um, brand new copy of it for six bucks off of Amazon, and I also bought this on Amazon. And this cost $115. Now you might be like going $115 for a helmet. Why in the world, Texas man, would you spend that type of money for a helmet? Now the reason this helmet costs so much, one, it's from EA. <laughs> and two, this helmet is hand sculpted, okay? This isn't just some $20 Walmart play toy. This is hand sculpted and hand painted. So, and not only that, it comes with a couple of goodies. Now, the first goodie that you guys might be noticing is this. <laughs> the fact that it has a gizmo where you put batteries in. Because if you guys have played Titanfall 2, you guys know that based on Jack Cooper's helmet, I'm sorry, his health, his helmet, the visor part, will change color. So they incorporated that game aspect into this helmet. Now, if you don't have, um, this takes what? Double A batteries. It takes two double A's. If you don't have the double A batteries, you can still hook this up. You can still wear it. And you can just have it white. Now, I do have batteries with me, and I'll show you the three features that it comes with, with the batteries included in just a moment in the video. But $115, and you get this really cool helmet. And it's very high quality. 
it's very hard to scratch and dent unless you plan on like literally throwing it at a wood floor or at a window. This is going to be something that lasts you a lifetime and it has a lifetime warranty guarantee. Now, what was really weird is that I bought it off of Amazon and this is all the padding it had in it. So I guess it really didn't need too much. It is a very high quality mask on its own. But this is the packaging, basically what it'll come in if you order it off uh, online. You, I don't know if, I haven't been able to find um, helmets of this type of quality in any of my local retail stores. So your best bet, like I said, buying it offline. Like I said, I bought this on Amazon for 115 bucks, and uh, I'm really excited about it. Now, it does not come with batteries, so if you don't have any AA batteries, you're going to have to buy your own if you want to operate the battery functions. And I will show you the battery uh, fun stuff for the helmet in just a second. Uh, it does come with this gizmo here. I have no idea what this stick is for because there's not a single... I have no idea like what I'm supposed to do with this thing because there's no, there's no knobs. There isn't a single like open a hole or anything on this entire mask. So I don't know where this is supposed to go and what this is supposed to do, this bluish black stick. I, so if you guys can tell me what this is for, that would be wonderful because I have no idea what this is. This, this thing is for and there is no instruction manual when you buy this helmet there's no instruction manual it just gives you the helmet and it gives you this thing and then it gives you one more thing it gives you this face mask now there are several different ways you can wear this thing but I would str strongly recommend that if you're going to wear this helmet for longer than a minute or two put this on because and I've already tested this and I don't want to do it again. But if you put on this helmet because of what's inside of it, and you guys probably can't see it really well detail-wise because it's all black in there. But if you don't put that uh, face mask on, the front of your face is going to rip. Also, the, uh, the white part here, it can easily come out and be popped out. So you want to make sure that when you're putting this on, you're not going to rip the white part here that lights up and that's battery operated out. So you just want to make sure you're careful with it when you are taking this helmet on, putting the helmet on and you're taking it off. Um, but besides that, you also don't want to rip up your head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the batteries in. I'll show you the functionalities for it. And to turn on the helmet, there's a button right next to the spot where you put the batteries in. There is three modes. You can put the batteries in. We put the face mask on and then I'll put the helmet on. And this is a helmet, it is obviously not a mask. So, I want to make sure that you can still breathe. But this is to help make it so you can properly do what you need to. And uh, obviously, you can loosen the cord here, need be. It does have a clip on the battery clip. Start where you put the batteries. It does have a clip on so you can lower this. Put this on. You want to just take your time with this. Don't be in a hurry. You guys don't want to be in a hurry when you're putting this thing on. See, because I have the face mask on, my eyes right now are right here. My eyes are right here. So I actually can see pretty well. It does look like I'm looking through a beehive. <laughs> so, um,. Jack Cooper and all the other uh, Titan pilots had to wear these things for a living. I, I, I applaud you for your um, generous donation to being able to breathe. It, th th this is the only thing I don't like about this helmet, is that it is very hard to breathe in this thing. I mean, you've got this part right here where all the heat is coming in and out. And obviously with this face mask thing here, um, it is also adding on a couple of extra degrees of 
warmth to my head. So I would not recommend wearing this if it's above, you know, 80 degrees. Now I'm going to show you guys the light features. So keep an eye on my right here where it lights up. So here we go. This is option one. I don't know if you guys can actually see a difference. You guys, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn the light off for a second. Hit the box. I'm going to shut the light off so you guys can see the helmet when it lights up. Is it working? Where's the batteries? I don't have the batteries in right. <laughs> oh, that's great. Just as I am trying to get this to work. At least I can see. There we go. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> All right, boom! Wow, that is bright in my eyeballs. <laughs> I can still see pretty well. So this is the standard mode, and it does make a sound when it's on. It's slightly annoying, but at least you know it's on. Option two, the thing flashes. Oh, that's enough to hurt my eyeballs. <laughs> and then option three is that it just goes blink, 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 blink. And then you can shut it off again. So, I really like this. It would be kind of cool if I tried to play a, a game for at like 10 p.m. with this thing on. <laughs> and try, but try, try to play video games with this thing in my face for hours and hours. So, yeah. Alright, I'm going to see if it actually works when the lights are on. See if I can actually see the cracking and everything. Like, what? There we go. So it does work better in the dark, but you can still see the lights um, with lighting around, obviously. There you go. And that's light off. I'm going to take it off so I can oh, breathe. So yeah, you do definitely want this on. Whew, already breaking into a sweat. <laughs> um, so you do want this thing on. It's mostly for the top part of the helmet, so the top part doesn't scratch your head off. But I really enjoyed it. I'm, I, I'm happy that I bought this. Really, I, you know, a lot of people are going to be like $115 for this. I mean, if you're a Titanfall 2 fanboy like me and you really enjoy it and you want a Titanfall 3, um, this is just great. A really great quality. I love it. It's going to be added to my collection and uh, really fun, cool geek moment. This is something I'd probably wear for Halloween, just sitting on a porch passing out candy. And uh, I really did enjoy it. I might wear this, you know, from time to time while I'm streaming or I'm doing a live podcast or something. I'm just chit-chatting with people. So, just just for fun's sake. So, alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video in the comment section down below. And you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in all of the next one. I'm going to put the helmet back on to end the video. Just for fun's. I really, I'm, I'm having a blast. $115 well spent. This is the way. <laughs> oh, I should wear this for my C Mandalorian Season 4 re review video. Oh, I'm going to make this go out and actually trigger. The fact that I can see the mouse from that far away is really weird too. All right. Bye, guys.